Hello my friends, I hope you're having a lovely day and in today's video we are checking out Night Trap, the latest and greatest game for the Switch. <laughs> Why are we checking out Night Trap? Well, uh, Limited Run Games uh, has put some of their digital releases on sale uh, for 90% off and that includes Night Trap. So the game is usually $20, but now it's a buck 50. And the question is, is Night Trap worth a buck 50? <laughs> and uh, I grew up with Night Trap. I played Night Trap when it originally came out. Uh, and it's a very tough question to answer. It all depends on your pain tolerance for games, uh, your appreciation of video game history, and I guess how old you are too. Um, because Night Trap is... Well, it's Night Trap. <laughs> I have a story about this game that I've told on the podcast before. I'll tell it again very quickly. Uh, when I was growing up and this game was coming out, I saw it and I wanted to get it. I had a Sega CD. Uh, my birthday was coming up. My parents asked if I wanted a game. I said yes. My mom took me to the mall and I said, I want Night Trap. She bought Night Trap. And as we were leaving the store, she was like, wait a minute. Is this the game all those politicians were talking about? And at the time, this was being talked about uh, in Washington, D.C. because they were saying how games were too violent and too sexual and kids were going to be uh, ruined because of it. And uh, Night Trap and Mortal Kombat are the reason why we have the ESRB today. So it was a big topic of discussion back then. Because I was a good boy, I said, yes, Mom, that's the game they're talking about. <laughs> she said, uh, I don't want you to have it. Uh, and she didn't really know much about the game other than it was being talked about by politicians, so uh, she now looks back on the decision and says, what a stupid decision, but, <laughs> but anyway, she was trying to do the right thing. She took me back to the store, we returned it instantly, and she got me, uh, she said I could get whatever else I wanted, and I picked Mario Paint, so <laughs> my mom did the right thing because Mario Paint is the much, much better game, and I loved Mario Paint, uh, but you know, at the time I was disappointed because I was like, oh, I had the game in my hands, but... Yeah, it was the right decision. Uh, Night Trap is one of many examples of uh, developers trying to use full motion video to create video game experiences. When the Sega CD was out, Sega was really pushing Sega CD to show like what it could do that other systems couldn't do. And one of the big things was FMV. Now, it didn't look anywhere near as good as this, uh, even though this is still low quality compared to today's video. But back then, this was something else because uh, it was full motion video. It was real people. Um, but uh, developers just didn't know what to do with it. Uh, Digital Pictures was the company that made this game and a whole bunch of other FMV games. And basically, they just play out as movies where you interact a little bit. It's like, uh, it's like Dragon's Lair. So Dragon's Lair is basically a cartoon where you make a couple decisions and things happen. At certain instances in the game, you hit a direction and then you just... The game either continues or you die. All right. I th All right, so what you do in Night Trap is you see these assholes. They're going around trying to hurt people. You... It's the red one I trap? Uh, uh, you're supposed to trap them to stop them from kidnapping people. Uh, and I'm... Oh. All right, so I thought green would be when you hit it. But... I guess red would be when you hit it. I need to... Oh, man. Okay, red is when you hit it. Okay, there we go. I am... I am ready to go. So, I... I could have captured... Seven of them so far. <laughs> seven of these guys. I forget what they're called. But I've only captured one. And after you miss a certain amount of captures, it's game over. Oh, 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 oh. Now, see, this is a big change. Because in the original Night Trap... Goodbye. In the original Night Trap, you didn't have these little live video windows down here uh, on the bot Or, you know, on the bottom of the TV. That, that wasn't a thing. Um, you just had to... Did I miss this guy? Oh, I did. You just had to constantly jump around between videos and be like, is somebody here? Is somebody here? And just hope you got there at the right time. So, I haven't played this remake. This is already a huge change to the game. This makes it a lot easier to play. Uh, you can play it like the original, too. Um, What's happening tonight, Dad? 
but yeah, it was pretty much a guessing game, and you had to like learn where everybody was and when, and like you had to really be on it. Even playing it like this is still difficult, but leagues better than what it originally was. What have we got going on over here? So, uh, it, it, I mean, it is a cool idea for storytelling that I still appreciate today. It just, you know, as far as gameplay goes, it could have been done better. So, like, there's a scene going on in the kitchen right now that you can watch. There's a scene going on in the in the driveway that's going on that you can watch. There's uh, now there's a scene going on here in the in the entryway. It's a, it's a cool idea. Here's Dana Plato. I just missed her. Dana Plato is your inside operative. She uh, is supposed to be pretending to be a part of this like slumber party that's going on, but um, she's actually there to help you, and she's your person on the inside to be like, okay, we got to go here and we got to do this thing. Boy, there's a lot of guys here. Where's the trap for them? Oh, there's two of them. I cannot believe how much easier this is to play like this. <laughs> but, uh, it, it, you know, FMV was a... Uh, gotcha. Was a new technology. Man, this... I might... I've never beaten this game because, like... To, to play it without a guide is unbelievably hard. You, you, you're only going to get so far. Apparently I missed the chance to trap somebody. Um, because it's just so, like, down to the second. You have very little chance of, of getting people, it, it, or getting far. Um, and even with a guide, you can't use the guide on your own. Like, you need a buddy there with you. Where am I missing captures? Uh, you need somebody there to read the guide for you. So they're going to be like, you know, uh, 423, uh, this room, uh, get ready for a trap. 428, this room, get ready for a code change. Uh, I forget what the code changes are for. It's something like there's a security system in the house. And you won't be able to... Oh, yeah, I guess you won't be able to do the traps if you don't have the right security code, so you have to make sure you hear that. And it sucks, because if you don't hear that, then you can't use the codes until somebody, like, changes it back. <laughs> this is so much better uh, to play. Man, they really improved it. I'm, I'm honestly surprised. Um, so the thing that sucks is, like, you're, if you're playing this game as you're supposed to be playing, uh, you want to hear the story like you want to hear what's going on here you want to see what these people are talking about um but you have to keep popping between different rooms because you're worried that you're going to miss something um and then you come back and you know everybody has left the scene and gone somewhere else and as i said again this these little preview panes are something else because oh i, I thought i did that a little early because they were just static images in the original. They weren't even like, um, like actual pictures of the rooms. They were drawings of what the rooms were. So you had no idea. So, uh, like I was saying, you would like guess, I, I guess. And maybe if you played it a whole bunch of times, you would have an idea of, ah, damn it. You would have a, an idea of where to go when. And eventually you would move beyond, like, watching the story because you'd know things were going on that you had to take care of. Oh, I want to launch the guy off the roof. Did I miss it? Ah, I think I missed two of them. Damn it. I know you can launch a guy off the roof, which used to be my favorite one. Boy, when it comes to this bookcase, I'm sure getting a lot of them there. Um, so yeah, that's Night Trap. It's, uh... Obviously, it didn't stand the test of time, but it is a super important part of video game history because, uh, like I said, I hit that at the right time. Yes. Oh, you know what happened? Somebody changed the goddamn code. Oh, man. <laughs> that must be it because my traps aren't working at all. Now all these guys just go around and I can't do shit. Uh, man. I'm seeing if these... Uh, I see it's yellow. I would imagine it's these guys. I'll try setting the trap again. Where are they going? Yep, 
Yeah, that's got to be it. Yeah, the, all right. So the code is changed, and I'm screwed. Somebody has to go change the code back. It's a, I think it's in... Uh, I forget where the, where the code is, or where the thing for changing the code is, but people will walk up to the camera and be like, the code has changed from green to orange, or whatever. See, like, I can change the color. I, I don't know what it is. I'm just going to have to, like, try and trap people and guess, <laughs> which absolutely sucks. Here, I'll... Let's see if I can... You know, this guy's like a covert op. Come on, he should be able to stop this from happening. Um, so they, you know, uh, Night Trap... Oh, let's see if this kid does the code. That's got to be the code thing on the wall there. I honestly don't remember. Um, you just hope that you are in the right place at the right time. And that, that's about it. Man, that sucks. I wish there was, uh, maybe there was. It's hard to know because I'm talking to you guys and playing at the same time. Well, it's, it's not that color. <laughs> um, I wish there was some sort of indicator to tell you, like, the code's going to be changed. Uh, like, there's other indicators for stuff, but there's not. You know, I'm missing quite a party over here. <laughs> well, anyway, you get the idea. That is Night Trap, um... Obviously not the best game, but a very important part of video game history nonetheless. Uh, is it worth a dollar fifty? For me, I would say 100% yes, because I, I love video game history. Okay, it's not that color. I love video game history. Uh, I am fascinated by full motion video. I really am, even though it's, you know, not anywhere in the, in the realm of things that are impossible nowadays. I feel like I haven't done purple. Um, it just, it still impresses me that they, yeah, see, I lost. <laughs> um, it just still impresses me that they tried to do something with this. And now we're seeing developers that are using FMV today as well to do all kinds of amazing stuff like, uh, her story and, uh, telling lies, which are definitely, uh, pushing games, uh, gameplay aspects more in the realm of FMV. So I really appreciate that. Um. Uh, so I'm all about it. Uh, the only other thing I can say is um, I don't understand why Sewer Shark has not been re-released. Night Trap is re-released. Double Switch is re-released. There's other ones out there too, but Night Trap has never been re-released. And that's the one that I feel plays most like a game. I legitimately like that game. I wish they would re-release it on something. I don't understand why that's the one game that hasn't, but... We get Night Trap, which is certainly more well-known than Sewer Shark. So it is what it is. Maybe my dream will come true one day. <laughs> but that's it for today. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. Also, a huge thank you to everybody that supports me on the Patreon. Uh, I really do appreciate that as well. It helps me do things like this, the site, the podcast, social media, all that good stuff. If you'd like to learn more about the Patreon, which is just a dollar, you can check out a link in the description below. But as for today, that is it. I will certainly be back with something tomorrow. I just can't tell you what it is yet. You'll find out. So until then, have a lovely day and a lovely evening, and I'll see you in a few short hours. <laughs>